Hi, so I'm gonna bitch a little today. As some of you may know, or people who know me, I am a pretty nice person. I'm, I'm compliant. I try to fucking love everyone. I really do. But sometimes it just doesn't work. Because I get pissed off. Well, I don't know. I don't usually get pissed off. But I was pissed off the other day. So this is what happened. I'm on the train going home from the city to Jersey City, or the PATH train, and I have my earbuds on, and I'm reading my Kindle, and um, we stop, and a group of girls come in loud and wah, 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 and just stumbling, well they weren't stumbling, but they looked sloppy as fuck, sorry for the swearing, and one girl sits next to me, and the other one sits across from me, and... I guess their friend didn't find a seat, so she stands in front of me and holds the railing. And I'm reading my Kindle. And just as I was about to offer my seat, just as I was about to offer my seat, because I was prepping, I had my hand in my bag ready to like pull some shit out or I don't know, I, I just remember, like I do that, like, I don't know, I don't even know what that is. But anyways, I was about to offer my seat. And she makes a comment. She goes, People must not be gentlemen nowadays. If you waited five fucking seconds, the door isn't even closed yet. What if I was going to get off? Like, did you think about that? And I pretended like I couldn't hear anything because I had my earbuds on. And out of spite, I was all, You know what? I'm not going to let this bitch sit. I'm so irritated. And then, wait, when she said that, her friend's laughing. He's like, she's like, he can't even hear you. And blah, 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 blah. and she's like, oh, shit. <laughs> and they're like laughing and shit. Did you think I wanted to sit next to your alcoholic friend over here? And your alcoholic breath breathing in my face? Did you think I wanted that? I did not want that. But out of spite, I s stayed in that seat because I was so irritated with that comment. I worked 12 hours. I walked from my work 20 blocks down to the station and I had a gallon of milk and a quart of water in my fucking hands and you had to make that comment man I feel so evil right now <laughs> but I I'm really not evil I promise but but like come on when people make comments like that it makes you not want to do it even more it was the same thing when my mom told me to clean my room i didn't want to clean my room just because she told me to clean my room i was planning to clean my room but she goes clean your room i'm like no because you said that i'm not gonna clean it no i didn't hit my mom i hit the bed but no so that girl was so fucking lucky i wouldn't have hit her She's so lucky that my mother taught me manners. So I just <laughs> pretended not to hear her. And I was just ignoring her the whole time. And she's blabbing about, Oh, my feet sore. I'm going to be hanging tomorrow. Oh, I got work in five hours. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You made poor life decisions in life. All right. Just think about that the next time. You ride the train or you go out to drink and be all sloppy coming in and, you know, make snide comments to a Filipino boy. Alright? I think this is enough rambling. I think I got my venting out. But, like, you know, I offer everyone I see on the train um, a seat. Especially if they're, like, girls or pregnant women or especially elderly people. And most of them will be like, oh, no, 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 baby. Oh, no, 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 no. See? Learn some lessons from those people, Miss Rude Lady. Like, for real.